So in this video, we're going to talk about the layout considerations for your Hugel culture mound. And so this will, these questions you can ask <clears throat> in the planning stage when you're deciding you know, what size and what shape to make and what style you're going to use. So it's very much determined by how much wood and debris you have on hand. And uh, that'll determine the size, how much you can put in there. Uh, the logs that you have, the branches, and this kind of comes when you gather everything together and you organize your piles so you can see what you got. You want to look at the slope of your land. You know, are you going to be, uh, are you going to have this on a slope? Is it going to be at the bottom? Is it going to be on flat ground? Um, some people like to do these in raised beds, you know, so are you going to frame out a raised bed first? You want to look at the path of the sun. So, uh, you know, this is a mound, so it might shade other areas. And you want to know where the sun will arc. So one side might have, you know, if it's oriented that way, one side might be full sun. The other side might be a little shade, especially as the plants start to grow on the mound. So another thing to keep in mind. Or you can kind of orient it perpendicular to the way the sun arcs over the sky so that it'll be kind of more even sunlight across the whole thing. And you want to make sure you have access to the whole mound. So if you're doing a circular one, you know, you, they call these keyholes where you have one section open. So you walk into the middle of this, of the hugel culture that's mostly uh, almost a full circle. So you walk inside of it, and then you have access to the middle half of it. And then you want to know whether you're going to dig a trench or whether you're going to do this on top of the ground. And this kind of comes down to um, the effort that you want to put in. Um, maybe the ground's too hard for you to, to dig. Maybe there's, um, you know, you definitely want to make sure that you get the power lines and the water lines all marked out if you're going to dig. So those are considerations to do. And um, so that'll also play into account how long it's going to take to build. Uh, another important one is how does the water flow and collect in the area? So do you have little streams that are running on the property? Um, is it a low area that's kind of swampy or marshy? Uh, is it going to flood? And you know it might wash out some of your mound it might, uh, are you, do you have maybe a stream that you want to try and direct it in a certain direction towards, uh, towards a dry area of the land? That can be a nice experiment to try. So water flow is definitely important with these, especially because they, they hold water and they catch water. So the closer you can get it to a little bit of water flow, the, uh, the more that it'll hold water over time and the less watering you'll have to do for the thing. And uh, that about covers it for the layout considerations. I, I'm sure there's plenty more, but this is just to get you started, kind of looking at the big picture of the land that you're using, um, kind of, you know, kind of zoom out and get the big picture of water, air, soil, and, you know, the, the basics you really want to consider. All right, I'll see you in the next video.